country where we have the most beautiful animals and birds. Sinclara means a safe heaven or a nest. I'm about to call the architect or the weaver bird of the Sinclara BTC cloud on stage to come and tell us more about what he has weaved and what he has, uh, what he's providing in terms of the services. But listen carefully because as part of what BTC is providing, particularly to the innovators and the small businesses, is 60-day free trial of this particular offering. So listen carefully to the architect, if not the weaver bed, of uh, the Sintara Data Cloud. Please let me allow Mumpuliki to come on stage to come and tell us about uh, his offering and what we should look up to. Remember, 60-day free trial for the Sintara uh, data center hosting. This one goes to the small businesses and the innovators. Um, thank you, Kenneth, for putting all that pressure on me. Um, good morning, everybody. And my name is Mumpuluki, as Kenneth has um, so colorfully uh, introduced me. I am the BTC data center manager. I am, of course, responsible for uh, the BTC center data center and um, also responsible, of course, for the cloud services that, they, that we offer at BTC. Uh, my task today is to come and speak to you all about the digital, uh, the digital products in the data protection era by BTC. Um, oh yeah, that, that nice photo, that, that's me. Um, now, the, my first presentation is to sort of bring everybody's attention to the actual definition of what cloud computing is. Cloud computing is a model that enables all individuals, enterprises, organizations to have a convenient way of deploying applications, um, rapidly uh, creating um, a set of services um, while consuming um, a shared pool of resources and um, all of this being uh, um, utilized through the internet. The main effort behind cloud computing, ladies and gentlemen, is to ensure that you, as a, as a user of the cloud, have little or no investment in terms of acquiring physical infrastructure and have ease of use in terms of having a management portal that allows you to access these scalable resources, the network resources, the storage resources, as well as the, the CPU and memory. Um, the cloud service delivery model has brought about um, a, a deployment model that accommodates public, cl uh, public clouds, hybrid clouds, as well as private clouds. Over and above that, the service model in itself caters for the different community of ICT professionals. One may ask, what is an ICT professional? Not the guy who, it's, it's not only the guy who comes and replaces your mouse, and not all ICT professionals know how to install Microsoft Office on your computer. I must um, uh, bring this about to uh, the audience's attention. There are, of course, different service models that cater for all the different professionals within the ICT model. For example, we have infrastructure as a service. This is a more robust, um, ruggedized for your system admins, the guys who love to install operating systems, put applications on those operating systems, control what happens within uh, that particular uh, infrastructure without the need to worry, of course, about the virtualization technology, the physical infrastructure, the physical networking equipment, as well as the storage devices. But that main concern is always um, giving service, but having better control of what needs to be put on top of the operating system. Now, moving forward, there are a bunch of other guys, I must say. These guys never ever want to worry about um, what the operating system is there. Um, 
how much CPU is there, how much memory is there. Ask any developer. They will, ask, they will tell you, give me a database. I don't care how, where it's sitting. I don't care how it looks. Just give me a, a database. I want to spin up my, um, my uh, web services. These guys um, essentially um, sit around the platform as a service, uh, service delivery model where uh, the, they, they only have to worry about um, uh, application de de development and application deployment. And now for the normal um, user of services, for the Microsoft guys, the, the guys who want to consume services without having to worry about where it's sitting, what operating system is there, what form of development they can put up on there, um, we want to consume Microsoft Office, Microsoft Email. We want to consume all different sort of services. And this is, of course, the delivered through uh, software as a service. Now, the, the, the individual service delivery models bring about a shared responsibility model between the cloud service provider as well as you who consume these particular services. You will, of course, find that Traditionally, as um, uh, data center owners or um, ICT professionals, we would, of course, be responsible for all the technology stack, from application all the way down to the networking equipment. And then the introduction of these particular service delivery models being the infrastructure as a service then brought about ease for all the gens and all the geeks that want to um, do away with um, um, worrying about uh, what type of virtualization technology they need to worry about. Um, um, uh, server storage and networking equipment that is essentially supporting um, where they want to play. Essentially, you would see the responsibility from an infrastructure as a service model would, would fall on the, on the owner or application user um, from the operating system all the way up to the application itself. And then moving further on the right, you will see that um, platform as a service moves the responsibility further away from the uh, application users. You will find that um, the runtime middleware all the way to the networking piece of equipment falls on us, the cloud service providers, but rather you as the user of this um, cloud or platform as a service are only responsible for the application and the data. Moving further along, the responsibility falls off from you as the customer. You will find that you want your service available, you want your email available, you want your ERP available, you want any form of software that you want to consume available to you. To you. you do not want to worry about all the problems of um, application availability, um, data availability, whatever type of middleware they're using. Linux, what's that? Windows, who cares? The, the, the thing that um, software as a service users, such as you and I, um, uh, enjoy is we sleep soundly without having to worry about what happens behind the scenes. We just want the service available. Of course, this is impacted by our internet service provider. And thank God, BTC is very stable. Um, BTC's cloud strategy hinges around this, this paradigm. We want all our customers to know that we offer enterprise grade cloud infrastructure. And the first thought that comes into our minds as customers, as geeks, as nerds, is that we should think BTC Cloud before thinking of any other uh, cloud service provider. Why would we want to do that? Because BTC accommodates large enterprises as well as government, small to medium firms, startups like Kenneth had said, we are ready to accommodate all your visions, all your dreams, and everything uh, that goes in between. Essentially, our cloud strategy is to accommodate uh, new applications that you might bring in. We will, of course, offer you a, 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 a cloud-ready uh, infrastructure for your new applications. For all those guys, because we all know that we've been in business for a while, we have applications that's been running for a while, Mumpuluki, what do we do in those instances? Uh, worry not, uh, we are ready to accommodate all those applications that you have. We are ready. There is no barrier to move your applications to the cloud. Of course, there are different migration approaches that we can accommodate you with. For all your business needs, 
we can have a planned phased out approach for your migration or a big bang should you choose and then one person may ask why btc business cloud olivia just mentioned that um, btc has um, a certified data center uptime certified data center it's sitting in country we have reliable direct con connectivity um, to that particular data center. Again, Kenneth um, said this. I am a weaver, of course, very skilled resource. We have a pool, I must add, a pool of skilled individuals who are ready to assist you with all your uh, uh, business and digital needs. Of course, we are an all-in-one shop for all your services. You will essentially get your management portal to access the different services, being the virtual data center, the storage as a service, as well as backup as a service for all your backup needs. Um, speaking to uh, the uh, BTC Cloud, we offer the virtual data center, which of course is accompanied by um, um, these uh, uh, services within itself. We have an elastic cloud server, which is a server in the cloud. It is your virtual machine that is sitting on the BTC Cloud. Uh, of course, it is, a, it, is, it is supported by Elastic Volume Service, which is in itself additional storage should you need it. We have network isolation in the form of virtual private cloud, which allows you to have network isolation within the BTC Cloud. Rest assured, your subnets will not overlap to the other guys' subnets within the multi-tenancy capabilities of our cloud infrastructure. And then over and above that, we have security groups. Security groups are the firewall technology. They control who accesses the, the, the services or elastic um, cloud services that you've put up on the BTC cloud. They control what goes in, what comes out, what service you want to publish, what services you want to consume from the internet. And then over and above that, we have BTC image management. BTC image management, ladies and gentlemen, is a nifty tool. It allows you to uh, create, uh, create an operating system, put uh, applications on it, and then create an image, template out of it. This will allow you as a customer to rapidly deploy your application as and when you have that particular need to, uh, to accommodate a business requirement. We all know Every now and then, business will come, we need to do a test on, on production. We need something that looks like production, and seldom and most of the time, you'll find that infrastructure teams struggle to uh, bring about a like-for-like -like, um, image that looks like production. So image management allows you to do that. And then um, this is basically the, the overview of how the um, VDC offering looks like. It is worth mentioning, and I must add this, at the foundation of our cloud offering, there is physical infrastructure. Servers, storage equipment, networking equipment, as well as firewall equipment. This is to say, when it comes to the physical infrastructure that we at Santlaga are proud to boast about, we ensure that our infrastructure is always up to date. We ensure from a security standpoint, we put all the necessary features that will enable you to rest assured that you will not get a ransomware through the physical infrastructure. On top of the physical infrastructure, we have a virtualization technology and then to publish all these services, we have a cloud layer that is continuously being patched, being updated, all security updates are applied at all of these uh, layers of uh, our cloud um, infrastructure and physical infrastructure. Um, and then we, we normally recommend for all customers that would wonder, how then do we access our services at Santara Mumpuluki, seeing as I'm sitting at government offices or my office is sitting in Pakalani or wherever your office is. There are multiple ways to connect to uh, the BTC uh, Central Data Center. There is a layer 2 VPN, um, which is very secure. 
our, MP, our MPLS technologies also, our metro technologies also very secure, um, a secure way of connecting your workloads and your office and ensuring that you are able to consume your services um, wherever you are. Let me bring everything together now. For all intents and purposes, BTC boasts not only about its enterprise-grade cloud infrastructure, we boast as well as our, of our human capital. We have a bunch of guys, cloud architects, who would come up with something like this. If you look very closely, you see that we have decoupled, or assisted a customer to decouple um, their, their application from their database um, server. In most instances, we advise, we give advisory services, we re-architect solutions and decouple um, uh, complex problems for, and complex uh, performance problems for our customers. And in doing so, customers are able to enjoy a safer security, for example, in this particular instance for their database, while having the confidence of publishing their applications on the World Wide Web. Imagine a situation where the database and the application are sitting in one box and you are publishing a service on the World Wide Web and you get hacked and the database is accessed. We come in in such situations, in such scenarios to come and say, guys, let's break this thing apart, let's deploy it in this fashion and you will have better security and better controls as a customer and you will sleep soundly, of course. That is the main mandate of cloud, of course. And then over and above it, we offer storage as a service. We at BTC um, offer storage as a service for all our customers that have immediate storage needs. We offer storage as a service for all our customers that are sitting within the BTC cloud and you who are sitting in your own data center who's running out of um, storage. We of course support all the conventional um, protocols, your NFS, your Samba shares, your SIFs, Whatever it is that um, fences your particular on-premise system or whatever uh, cloud service uh, you are consuming. Over and above that, the storage as a service offering allows you to back up in case you are using your own backup solution. Which brings me now to my uh, third service, which is backup as a service. We at BTC offer enterprise-grade backup as a service solution for your on the cloud services as well as your any other service that's sitting within your data center. We offer this service for all our customers that are looking for a 3 to 1 strategy. Essentially for all customers that want to achieve a 3 to 1 strategy of backing up locally to some type of tape and ultimately to some type of cloud uh, 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 storage, BTC is your one-stop shop as I had uh, previously said. We offer you that backup as a service for your cloud deployments. We offer your backup as a service for your on-premise deployments. We are ready as BTC to give you the services uh, when you call. Now, this slide brings me slightly to the conundrum that we normally have within the cloud as service providers. It is worth noting that security is a shared responsibility between ourselves and you as the customer. Under normal circumstances, we can put adequate security, but the best security, I must add, does not allow you to access your service. I must add. If you are going to put the best security measures, you will not consume services, honestly. But in order for you as a customer to consume services in the cloud, you and I need to sit down and agree on what we need to share, right? Now, we have come up with a shared responsibility model between ourselves and you. BTC is responsible for security for of the cloud, right? We are responsible for security of the cloud. Now, you as the customer come in and say, um, you will be responsible for security within the cloud. What does that mean? The portal that I shall give you when you buy my service, you are responsible for who you give access to that portal because that's where you have visibility of the workloads that you have, the resources that you want to put on, that, uh, on, on your workloads, on your virtual machines, the type of security measures you want to put on the firewalls that exist within the security groups. That now falls on you. 
I will not have visibility of what you do in that particular instance. I will, of course, have visibility of what happens at software layer, the cloud software, the compute, the storage, the database and the network, as well as the rest of the data center at large. I am responsible for that. You, on the other hand, as a customer, will find that operating system management, patching, and network traffic, inbound, south, uh, outbound traffic, you will, of course, have full control of that. Now, this is where our service, uh, where we boast as BTC and saying, should you not be aware of what you want or need to do in the cloud, please engage us to sit around with you and assist you to tighten your security. We can recommend a myriad of cloud services besides these, a myriad of other services, security as a service services that we offer at BTC. So ladies and gentlemen, this brings me to the end of my presentation. Um, I hope it was worthwhile and um, I hope my phone will start ringing. I anticipate calls after this with regards to consuming our cloud services. Thank you.